walking into this meal prep video like, yeah. <laughs> Hello guys, this is Nicole, that's the Slash Master, and that's the Hanky Bear! Say hi, Dad! We are coming out with a cheap and easy, quick meal prep for weight loss. our latest grocery haul video you will know it was difficult to find a lot of food this week so we have a couple of different things to show you for meal prep also I'm gonna be showing you some breakfast prep too starting with the veggies so we couldn't find our normal Brussels sprouts so we have one container of this California mix it has broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And then, they only had one bag of this. So we had to get one of these. And we ate it for, was it dinner today? And it, we were like actually thankful for the change up. Yeah, it was so good. And actually, not being able to find some stuff at the grocery store has actually been a blessing. It's so cool, like we're trying different food. It feels almost like cheat day because we're having different food and it's like wow this is good it's like a va <laughs> vacation from our normal diet it is because we eat pretty similar most of the week so this is thai style veggies it's got baby corn beans water ch i think those are water chestnuts yeah onion red pepper broccoli and carrots it is delicious so we have two containers of that and we usually eat the veggies for lunch. Today we had them for dinner special because they were fresh. <laughs> we roasted them at 450 for 15 minutes, flipped them 15 minutes more, then broiled them to get some color on top. And what we put on them is some garlic powder yep. and some ground black pepper. Then we cook the rice in a rice cooker. This is plain white rice. We sometimes use basmati. We just, we get a giant club size bag of it for like $8 and it lasts us months. So when we first started our weight loss journey, we did try to get brown rice, but over the years we found out as long as we portion control, it really doesn't matter too much. No, it doesn't. So we switch between like jasmine, basmati, white, it just, whatever is the best deal, that's what we get. I like pouring some of the bag in a container like this because it has two ways that you can get the rice out really easy without spilling. Yeah, those cereal containers are great for rice. And this is the rice cooker. This is really old. Like Kind of like you. <laughs> and our son. Do you see that sass what I deal with? Goodness. So this is, I don't know, eight years old, maybe more. And it takes 20 minutes to cook the rice. So that is two cups of rice and four and a half cups of water. Put it in there, set it, forget it. And then it cooks perfect rice. Then we have some chicken. This is boneless, skinless chicken. It's Mediterranean style and it's lean. Meat right now is really expensive in Canada. There isn't really any good deals. But the Walmart has been carrying this Mediterranean style chicken and it is so good. It takes, um, we cooked it at 425. 425 for about an hour. And you don't have to season it. It's already seasoned. It's super lean and it's really tasty. And two boxes last us all week. What? you don't see here that's prepped that we also eat our chicken burgers that we showed in our last meal prep and baby spinach that we also showed in our last one the chicken burgers we cook up real quick on the stove the day of because they only take about 10 minutes five minutes per side and the baby spinach we put usually with the chicken or the chicken burgers and we just cook it in a pan to wilt it and heat it up 
Then fruit. It's been actually pretty difficult to find the regular mixed berries that we always get. So we were getting blueberries, but this week watermelon was on sale for $4, which is really good in Canada. So I went ahead and I cut it all up in chunks and I put it in two containers so that I can just pull from it every morning for my breakfast. And I actually already measured out half a cup of watermelon in a little container so that I could take it for a snack or eat it with my breakfast if I want. Okay, so this is the breakfast. That's the protein pancake and the yogurt topping. We're gonna cut to that footage that I did this morning. Showed you all how to make it. All right, the friends, I am making my yogurt topping for my protein pancake that I'm gonna eat for breakfast tomorrow morning. We're starting with half a cup of this plain fat-free Greek yogurt. And we're gonna be using this pink container that has an insert in it that I got from Walmart. It's space age, wait till you guys see this. And I got it from Walmart, I think a pack of two for about $4. So, let's scoop this boy in here. A good tip, if you guys, if there's a meat shortage where you are like it is here, or it's like ridiculously overpriced, Greek yogurt has tons and tons of protein in it. And we get the plain fat free, because that way we can control how many sugar and carbs and calories go into it. And also, currently, our grocery store is completely out of sugar-free syrup. So, I'm making this topping as a little sweet addition to my pancake because we have no syrup. <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna put half a cup of the Greek yogurt into the container. Then I'm gonna take a teaspoon of zero calorie sweetener. This one is the great value kind. I'm gonna put that in there. Then I'm gonna take a teaspoon of this Hershey's 100% natural baking powder, or sorry, baking cocoa. There's no sugar in it, it's just baking cocoa. That's it, no carbs, no sugar, nothing. Yeah, don't use baking powder. It don't will, use baking powder. <laughs> it will not taste the same. So this is unsweetened cocoa, and that's why we put the sweetener in there, to give it a little bit of sweet. Nur. And, ha <laughs> Now I'm just gonna mix it all together so that tomorrow morning I'll have a chocolatey yogurt topping for my pancake. You guys are absolutely gonna fall off your chairs when you see this. what this divider does. It's it's like I said, it's space age. It's the space age, the space age of the world. It's like they should have shown this on the Jetsons. And the best thing is, as your yogurt sits overnight, it gets even better flavors. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dust that off. You're gonna play spoons. I'm gonna take half a tablespoon and scoop out some chopped walnut halves. Wow. Put that in there. Then I'm gonna take some of these Stevia sweetened chocolate chips. It's the Krizda brand. And we find them in the health food aisle of our grocery store. Half a tablespoon of these. And in the morning, I'm gonna put the yogurt on top of my pancake and then top it with those. And it makes a fabulous treat and a great replacement for no syrup. Okay, the friends, so that's what it looks like once it's done and I'm gonna pop this in the fridge so that I can have it tomorrow morning. And I just wanna say one quick thing. You're gonna see me in different clothes, sometimes with no makeup, sometimes with makeup, because what I do is when I have certain things out, that's when I prep it. I prep when, when it's convenient. So after I've eaten breakfast and I already have the yogurt out, I make it for the next day so that I don't have to go back and take more time to do it. I also sometimes make three or four of these in advance. So um, when I have stuff out, that's when I prep it. Okay, the friends, I am making a protein pancake for tomorrow. Mm. I need to have everything ready for the next day so that I can do my cardio, have my breakfast made. At doing all of this in advance helps me be ready and stay on track every single day. You gotta so, make me breakfast too. Oh yeah, that's true too. 
So. <laughs> timer. Okay. See that eye roll? That's what I get every day. The timer interrupted just like sassy. Okay, the friends. So, this is what happened. At the grocery store, I can only eat gluten-free oats because it bothers my PCOS if I eat any other kind. The grocery store doesn't have any. But you can get McDonald's. You can. So I found that this cinnamon pumpkin seed oatmeal, it's one of my favorites, and it's gluten-free. So I figured I'll just use this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind this into oat flour, and then I'm gonna make a pancake out of it. Are you, are you a genius? Space age. You know what I'm gonna eat for breakfast? That tennis ball behind you on the table. <laughs> oh yeah, Sass likes leaving dirty stuff on counters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, timer. So we're doing an experiment because this pumpkin, it's cinnamon pumpkin seed oatmeal, so it actually has different seeds in it. It's got uh, chia, buckwheat, hemp, and obviously pumpkin seeds. So we're gonna figure out if this works or not. And this is our coffee grinder, so we're really trying to experiment here. <laughs> so we, I usually use, we can't get oat flour very easily here, so I usually use the coffee grinder to grind the oats. And we get that comment all the time, why don't you just buy oat flour? We don't have any. We don't get any here. It's why don't really you just buy regular oats with one ingredient? We don't have any. The thing is, yeah, people were commenting just regular oats that have a single ingredient, aren't they gluten free? Well, maybe they are, but I can only buy the ones that actually say gluten free on them because the ones that don't really bother my stomach, I wake up in pain. So whatever it says on the label, it doesn't matter because you get bothered by the uh, regular oats. Exactly, they have to say gluten free. And when you're at a gluten free oats, you make pumpkin seed oatmeal flour. Come on, so, cross your fingers guys. One, two, three, hit it. Hey. La da 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 da, la da 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 da. Yeah! It worked! Wow, pretty good too. All right, so we're gonna put that oat flour in there. Now, if you do have access to oats or gluten-free oats, I usually use half a cup of that. We're experimenting with one package. We're gonna go with that. So now that I have my oat flour, I'm gonna take a teaspoon of baking powder, bink that in there. Then I'm gonna just do a pinch of cinnamon, however much. You didn't much... pinch it, you poured it. So it's not a pinch. When you're working with sass, you're always gonna hear those comments. They're helpful comments. Can you show them the salt or what, bud? Yep, I suppose you're gonna call this a pinch of salt when you're shaking it. Actually, it's a spinch of salt. Thank you very much. Fine sea salt to be exact. A spinch. You do it to your taste, people. The friends. Do it to your taste. Got it? Don't listen to sassy boy. 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 <laughs> okay, so now that we got now that we got the dry ingredients, we're gonna just give it a little mix around each. And then I'm gonna go and set the pan that I've sprayed with cooking spray to medium high and finish my pancake while it heats. Now we're gonna put the wet ingredients in there. Do, a, do a pinch of whole egg. You do a one large whole egg. A pinch of it. Gotta wash the, the old hands. Now the friends, if you, know, if you happen to notice the ignorage that goes on when there's sassiness, that's how you handle a sass boy. She's used to it. You just pretend that you didn't even hear it. You see? It's the trick. Quarter cup of egg whites. There we are. And then, for some flavor, I'm gonna use a tablespoon of this Premier Protein. It's really good, it's low in sugar, low in fat, and it is caramel flavor. So we're gonna shake it, baby, shake it. I prefer a pinch of it, but you use a tablespoon, whatever. See what you do there, you just keep going. Pour that in. We're gonna put a little vanilla, but a, you know, teaspoon, tablespoon, whatever that is. <laughs> then we're gonna use unsweetened applesauce. I find this helps make the pancake moist. So I'm gonna take a tablespoon and bang that in there. 
And now we're gonna mix her up and make the batter duties. Dudes. Yeah. <laughs> You guys always ask us, don't you get bored of eating the same things all the time? Well, this is oatmeal technically and we're making a delicious pancake. Yeah, it's, we, every day we eat eggs and oatmeal. We just sort of change it up how we cook it. And sometimes I use toast and make an egg sandwich instead of an oatmeal pancake. But you can also use a waffle maker and make this into a waffle. There's all kinds of things you can do with this. Sometimes I cook my egg whites and eggs right into the oatmeal and make like a baked oatmeal. You can get creative with this, the friends. Just make it to your fancy. And if you like creative recipes, we have two ebooks available. Yes, we do, and they have both have different recipes in them. One has 30, one has 40. What else can you ask for? And they're all weight loss friendly recipes. And they also got me. Okay, this is the batter. Now, we gotta get one of these boys, spatulunas, and we gonna bing it in the pan. So I like to use a medium sized pan because I just pour it in and make one gigantic pancake because that's what I like. You can make it smaller, but this batter is runny because it's not traditional flour and traditional pancakes, so I prefer to do it in a pan like this. It'll still work. So yep, we're gonna cook it till it's golden on the one side and bubbly on the top, and then we're gonna flip it and cook the other side till it's golden, and that's done! While the pancake is cooking, so we've got the pancake getting made, we have the yogurt topping already done in the fridge, I'm gonna make a snack, which is super easy to prepare, but Kyle and I like using portion control, so instead of just bringing this whole bag with me, um, I'm gonna portion it out so that I eat the portion and not the whole bag. Yeah, it takes away the temptation to eat the whole bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two of these white cheddar rice cakes in a container and then I'll take it with me and when I'm ready to eat my snack, it'll be ready and portioned. I eat that and I'm done. So it's also important too, like the time saving of prepping and portioning out before you get hungry because when you're hungry and you're on the road or you're out at work or something you're generally not going to pick something healthy and with what's going on nowadays only unhealthy options are generally easily available and i used to do this i used to go well what's the point of taking out two and putting it in a container that's extra work that's extra containers i have to wash then i would just throw that bag in my work bag or where my travel bag, where I was going, and I would open it up, I'd eat two. Then I'd go, well, I could eat three. <laughs> and I would end up eating three or four, and I only intended to eat two. So now, no matter what, I take the time to take two out of the bag, put them in a container, and then I know I won't be digging more and more into that bag because I have it. Yeah. And to make sure people are really healthy, we have to close gyms and open McDonald's. Yes, that is true. So we're gonna place two of these in here and see those, don't skip on those. You gotta have a little bit of crumbly action. Yep. And then, see, well what's the harm? I could just eat one more, there's one left in the package. No, if I wanna stay this weight, if I wanna be successful, you package her up. And a tip that me and Nicole do, you might think we're weird, we put the remainder in the freezer, keep it fresh. I don't think that's weird. I think that's real smart of us. Tape it and put it in here and put it in the freezer, guys. That's it. You'll thank us because these stay fresh. Sometimes we'll go a couple weeks without even eating rice cakes and we go back to them, they're fresh. And yeah, because sometimes you get the rice cakes off the shelf at the grocery store and they're already stale. So this just keeps them, you know, that little extra freshness. And I am gonna put these in the fridge with the rest of my stuff because then it's there and it's ready. I don't know, I just do it. It's weird, but they're going in the fridge. <laughs> Hank, your dad's a sassy man, he's a sassy man, oh he's a sassy man, Hank, your daddy's always being a little, little sass, 
And he's always leaving stuff. Dirty things on the table, making silly comments. La da 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 da. Tennis balls. <laughs> okay, is he ready? One, two, three! Yes! Wow! Yes! Yes! We did the flip like a pro, Nani! Yeah! <laughs> and these are, of course, the rice cakes that I measured out earlier for you. And that is it. So you see our brec the breakfast. Then we've got the veggies, and we usually eat the chicken burger with the veggies, and then we have the chicken, rice, and then usually the spinach as a dinner. So you're seeing a little bit of our day. What you don't see here is super easy to prep, and we do it on the day of. And if you guys are curious about how we balance out our diet, this is pretty much it. And in these portions, like a little bit of fruit, a little bit of protein, more veggies, very little carbs, and some little treats along the way, like the rice cakes, the chocolate chips, the walnuts. Yeah, so we do, basically we do low to moderate carbs and then moderate protein and veggies and a little bit of fruit. We eat like this six days a week and then one day a week we give ourselves a cheat day where we eat anything that we want, as much as we want until we're satisfied and then we get right back on track the next day. And what's really cool about this is it takes literally two minutes to cut up the watermelon and put it in a container. There's no excuse to not grab your fruit. You can even measure it out the night before like I sometimes do. The chicken is super easy. We just put it in the containers and then we weigh it out right before we eat it. Everything is budget friendly too. The rice, like I said, $10 for a bag. It lasts us months. The veggies, they're like $10 a bag. It is super cheap. Not even that, I think they're like $7.99. Oh yeah, you're and right. And we're in Canada where everything's like 10 times as much. And the rice cakes are like three bags for six bucks or something, which is pretty cheap here. Um, so the friends, this is like, if you're on a budget, if you want tasty food that's quick and easy to prepare, this is it. And this stuff is tasty and we love it. We look forward to eating it and all our, the time. And our time is, actually more valuable than money so everything like Nicole has been saying has to be quick to prep too. Exactly. The rice cooker was cheap. We got it for like 20 bucks a long time ago and we do get asked often how do you store it and how do you reheat it. So we will put one container of the rice, chicken and veggies in the fridge and then freeze the rest. As we run low in the fridge, we pull more out and thaw it out overnight. And then to reheat it, we either reheat it on the stove in a frying pan, or we put it in the microwave. Pan frying tastes a lot better to reheat it, but microwave if we have to. And if we have no access to heat, we just eat it cold. Sometimes we're on the road or in a parking lot somewhere when there used to be a thing called stores, <laughs> and we would just bring our lunch. Yeah. Oh, you know what I wanted? I have one question for the friends. Okay, how can someone please help me and tell me what's the easiest way to cut a watermelon? Because I always just hack into it and it feels so awkward to cut it. Someone please tell me the easiest way. I know the friends know. You'll see how we, smart. Yeah, you'll see how we do it and then you'll tell us the right way to do it. Yep, then you'll say, Nicole, don't do that. <laughs> All right, the friends. Thank you for watching this meal prep. Don't forget to check out the weight loss guides that Kyle told you about down below if you want the fancy freight fruit gear link down below. Do the stuff, the bells, the scribe, the like, the app, the collects on Instagram and TikTok. Do it! And now we will thank you for watching. We love you. And now we'll have a dance to peace. Oh. <laughs> Don't hurt your shoulders, okay? See ya. <laughs> Bye, guys. Remember, the friends, that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.